The Miu Mini Plus has released and it is pretty much selling out everywhere. But is it worth your effort in chasing one of these down? The Miu Mini Plus replaces the fantastic Miu Mini that did so well last year. And the Miu Mini Plus is a console that's been on the horizon for a very long time. We knew that Miu had to follow up with something due to the popularity of the Miu Mini and the chances were it was going to be a bigger version of the Miu Mini. Either that or a horizontal form factor console. Turns out it was a bigger version, the Miu Mini Plus. But does the Miu Mini Plus lose what made the Miu Mini so special? Its charm, its uniqueness, its pocketability and more importantly its fantastic build quality. Well starting from the top the Miu Mini Plus is bigger than the Miu Mini but it's smaller than the RG35XX so it sits somewhere in the middle which personally I think is really good because for some people the RG35XX is a little bit too big and the Miu Mini Plus seems to sit in that sweet spot. In terms of the process and power the Miu Mini Plus is identical to the Miu Mini. The thing that makes the Miu Mini Plus different is the size and the ergonomics of it and this is where it really begins to shine. Originally I was a bit concerned that going to a bigger form factor would make it lose some of the charm that the Miu Mini had but it's absolutely not done that it's only added to the system in ways that it really needed the extra space on the front gives you a lot more comfortable access to the face buttons and on the rear the R2 and the L2 shoulder buttons are raised slightly so you can access them and feel them a lot more comfortably something that was a true issue on the original Miu Mini especially if you wanted to play PlayStation 1 games following on from the Miu Mini the Miu Mini Plus continues that amazing attention to detail in great build quality as well all the buttons feel really nice and premium to use, giving you a true sense of quality and a console that is a true pleasure to play for any of the handheld consoles it emulates. Carrying on with the quality and the Miu Mini Plus also has a gorgeous screen. It's the same look and feel as the Miu Mini, but it's bigger, meaning that you can see more of the game, see more of those gorgeous visuals with those lovely saturated colors. And when it comes to colors, the color selection for the Miu Mini Plus consoles includes one of my favorite styles yet. And this is the translucent purple grape color. Today I've always gone for vertical consoles that look like the original Game Boy but this translucent purple is absolutely gorgeous and might be my new favorite color. Moving on and the Miu Mini Plus does come with a bigger battery but that extra power is used to support the bigger screen which means you're going to get a similar battery life to the Miu Mini which is around about six hours and personally six hours is great for the types of games you are going to be playing on this console. Like we said it focuses primarily on handheld devices but it can emulate all the way up to play PlayStation 1. Like the Miu Mini, the Miu Mini Plus comes packed with thousands of games for you to already enjoy, covering all generations from the original Nintendo all the way up to consoles like the Game Boy Advance and including the PlayStation 1. And the thing I love about the Miu Mini consoles is that they are specifically designed to deal with the consoles they emulate perfectly, meaning that it doesn't try to push itself too far and deal with other consoles and you start to see the console stressing itself or, or starting to have issues. Pretty much every game you're going to load up is going to be a dream to play and the console is going to feel like it was made for those games. Now when it comes to the OS, this is an area of contention. There's a lot of people that have an issue with the standard stock Miu Mini OS. Me personally, I've never had any issues with it and I've always enjoyed it. I found it simple to navigate and easy to use and brilliant for any newcomers to the system. But as with pretty much every retro handheld that exists, you can get firmware upgrade and you can get custom firmware if you want to upgrade the OS to something different and something that you maybe prefer. Now the Miu Mini Plus came out to fill the gap that the Miu Mini could no longer satisfy. The Miu Mini was so hard to get prices for it skyrocketed so the Miu Mini Plus came out to sort out that issue. However the Miu Mini Plus has proved to be so popular and Miu have struggled to keep up with the number of consoles requested that they are very difficult to find. However I found mine no problem on Mech DIY and I will put a link in the description below where they still have consoles available. The price for the Miu Mini Plus is around about $79 and I strongly recommend this as a budget handheld console and one of the best you can get but the direct competitor of the RG35XX definitely gives a strong fight and if you want to find out more about how these two consoles compare then you can check that out in a future episode but in the meantime if you want to check out one of the hottest new retro handhelds coming out that you don't want to miss out on check this episode out right here